Jai Shri Mahakal. Good evening. Yeah. So, thank you for having me over here. And um, Jai Shri and others all. Jai Shri has been a very old friend of mine. And the topic is completely what is mine. You know, unbox, unleash and unlock. It is necessary that we as a society have how much forgotten ourselves that who were we? What this motherland always taught us? What is a real true culture? And this whole topic fits so beautifully of being an Indian and to the Indianness to unleash, unbox, and unlock all your thought process. We were quite ahead, quite ahead from the entire world. But look at us today. In the name of morality, in the name of, you know, thinking of good and bad, I fail to understand, and with good and bad, I always, this is my patent, you know, dialogue, I believe, that good girls go to heaven and bad girls go everywhere. So I was one of those bad girls who really went everywhere. And, uh, and yeah, I went everywhere. And I don't have any regrets about it. I always say, pr decision taken at that junction of time was right, so even it stands right for me even today. That's why Lakshmi has never, no regrets in life. When I was talking about our culture, we have that same culture where you have a rishi sitting in a brothel of a ganika and writing Kama Sutra. And nobody questions him. This is the same culture in the epic Mahabharata where Draupadi had five husbands and nobody questioned it. And when somebody tried to, you know, take away her dignity, entire Mahabharata happened. There was Satyavati who called her first son, Vyasmuni, to get her daughter-in-laws pregnant after their husbands expired. And nobody questioned her. Sad, isn't it? From what glorious path and where we are confided into boxes. Only in the name of politics, caste, color, religion. And we are letting it happen. Like blind, like people who don't even have their own souls alive within themselves. And I really feel sad when you see in this present scenario People get killed for what they are eating or on the pretext, pretext of creating a communal disharmony. And we are allowing it. We are one of the biggest democracies and still our votes, we sell our votes. Maximum Indians, this is the sadness. The day we stop selling, Indians stop selling their votes. That was, will be the time when we can really be in a very strong way asking our leaders about accountability, about corruption. When the voters themselves get corrupted, what have you have a mouth to ask your own politicians? When you will unleash your brains to think that before you, your Indianness is dying. Now, like, see, I'm standing in front of you, I'm Lakshmi Narayan Tripathi, and now I'm Acharya Mahamandaleshwar of a Kinnar Akhada. One of the highest position in the Hindu religion one can ever get. But I'm a hijra. I'm a kinner. I'm transgender. Transgender is the umbrella term. And I accepted myself as what I was. And many other sisters around the world and in this country do accept themselves and they live a life. But everybody has to pay a heavy price of it only for taking the decision of living as you are. Your parents disown you. Your siblings disown you. The society treats you as a transparent object. Your complete human existence gets wiped out from the society. That is only because you decided in your life to stay as what you are. 
you, you decided not to be hypocrite. Your mind decided with your soul that I will live this way. Whether you are educated, you are highly educated, but if you go in the community, only three things remain in your hand. Even after three years of the Supreme Court's verdict, you are either, either begging at the signals, selling your body for 50, 100 rupees, or doing badhai. And then the world will also ask, oh, they are nuisance, they clap, they strip. That is the only thing what is there, no? Matlab, uh, they say, you know, the horse will never become friends with the grass. Ghoda ghasi dosti kabhi nahi karega. Ye Hindi mein hi lagta hai. Because of Ted, I spoke it in English. Hai na? Yeah. So, I always said, kuch, matlab, people say, you know, Lakshmi, you are a leader, there is a Supreme Court verdict, you should do something. I said, what I should do? You all should do something. You should at least let your mind and your thought process open up to a level that you at least consider these people as human beings. Forget about the sexuality. My sexuality is in my bedroom. And I won't force anybody. And if I force, force anybody in my bedroom, then I would be behind bars. Whether it's gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual, whatever sexual, asexual, what sexual, but still, huh, you can be anything. I always say my sexuality is like the Ganges. Yeah, I keep discovering myself, you know. <laughs> huh. Am I this? No, Lakshmi, you're not this. <laughs> so I have to again remind myself, Lakshmi, come back, be at the square one, you know. So we are fine. But this is the way. And how many girls shouldn't wear jeans? Over here our leader says, Ladkiya jeans, women wear jeans, that's why they get raped. Slap them! Tell them, boys, this is the time for you to retire. Enough. Your retirement period is there. You know, there should be, I believe in our country, we should have a retirement period for every politician. That would be the best thing what we can do for ourselves. We say, India has the youngest population, but still we have all the politicians who are, you know, 90% of our politicians are old. What they will understand and how much contribution does the youth has? And what kind of youth? Youth who are uneducated? You give them weapons and you, give, you teach them politics which is not politics, which is destruction of the society? Where freedom of expression is still questionable? Yesterday I was at an HIV AIDS program and as one of the top positions of Hindu religion in the Hindu Sanatan Dharma, which I am having as Acharya Mahamandaleshwar, I just said, you know, one should have safe sex behavior, one should use condoms, one should, you know, think the youth should be taught that how to take care of your own body and how you should be, you know, to keep yourself safe. You can have all the fun, but you should understand that what background do you come, where there is a margin. You should know that all things. See, I was Lakshmin Ranthrapati. I did whatever. Just now behind the room, my friends were there and we were talking that I really get scared. What not I have done in my college days, you know, means this generation wouldn't do even a fraction of it. But I was always safe about it. My best friends were my parents. I could tell my father that I'm going on a date on this person and that. My father was cool because he trusted that I will never break their trust. Until the date I'm more scared about my, you know, scared of my mother than anything else. And we, and in the name of being modern and, you know, being ahead of the generation, we forget that our parents are our best friends. Till the date, my teachers, they love me the same what they loved me as a child because I always believed, learnt under thy feet was divine. Whatever I am today standing in front of you is to the education, what my teachers gave and how, you know, beautifully in that time also I took that pains that education would change my life. The simplest job is to study and we don't do that. I mean, I lecture, baby. You can do everything on planet Earth, but even study. 
you know. I was I was learning I I learnt dance I had my own dance school तो कुछ parents के friends कहते थे आपका बच्चा वो लक्ष्मी के पास जाता है वो क्या पहनता है लक्ष्मी पहनती है कि पहनता है क्या कुछ पता ही नहीं चलता but my parents students parents were really gem of people they are still my very good friends you know वो कहते हैं वो कुछ भी पहने या कुछ भी पहनती है वो that is her headache but she teaches our children very beautifully and they could entrust their children with me. That trust I never allowed to break. You know, one thing in your life is to understand that what you want to achieve. If you think of the seven sky, at least you will, you know, climb up the coconut tree. And I always kept, you know, uh, what self-evaluating myself. You know, that what I have to do, what not I have to do, which way I have to go, and I always did it. I never harmed anybody. And thanks God, you know, the God was quite gracious for me that He gave me everything: beautiful parents, beautiful friends. Now I have a husband. I mean, I never thought Lakshmi could be a writer and two leading houses of, uh, you know, publication houses would, you know, print my book, whether it is Oxford or Penguin Random House. Now we are coming up with Kinnar Puran also. Devdutt Patnaik has really done a beautiful job and totally the entire religious history of the, in the Sanatan Dharma of transgender skinners, they say, will come into a book. 27 January, we are having it for the public in Agra. We are doing the whole, they say, Lokarpan. We are publishing it in a very beautiful way. So it's all about your own ideas and never let your ideas, you know, die. You should have a healthy competition. My time it was different, you know, people really hated me because I used to really get good marks after even parting whole night. Do baji tak party karti thi, baad mein paanch baji tak padti rehti thi, tang. Yeah, you have to. Because I knew what would give me respect at the end of the day is my marks. What would take me in future ahead? See, education, I always say, what earn bread is not education, is knowledge. But the knowledge gives you the platform to, the education gives you the platform to acquire true knowledge. And you have to be ready enough. Abhi aap, we come out from a very good school, we got a very good placement. Fine, after the placement, think of creating your own, own empire where you should be the king and the queen of it. Why did your parents invest so much in your life? They are your best friends, they are your best supporters. Because if you feel sad in your life, the first person is your mother and father. Will your parent will come and ask you, child, you are fine, no? Even if you have a failure, be strong enough to stand in front of the mirror and say, I have failed, but this is my first step to success. I would have failed thousands of times, but I said failure is nothing in my life. I won't accept it. And we all are born. See, I always say we as Indians, our souls are thousands and thousands of years old and we re take rebirth in this own motherland and we have so much of potential. Only one thing is that you have to keep discovering yourself. You have to unleash the thought process within your heart and soul. You have to connect yourself. And that mantra to connect yourself is to love yourself. But don't become mean in loving yourself. Na? Love all the relations which are joined with you. Today's world is there. We see old age home. Because people have become so selfish loving themselves that they forget the sacrifices what their parents have done for them. We become so mean to ourselves that as bosses we want to underpay our, you know, people, employers, people who are working for us. You have, you are the coming India. This generation will create India into a different India. Or thinking that you will go in US or Europe and settle over there, there that also life I have seen. I, I was with the United Nations General Assembly President's office. I never even thought to settle there. I mean, 
कुछ मजा ही नहीं था एवरीबडी इज वेरिंग ब्लैक एंड ग्रे कलर क्लॉथ फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टिल इवनिंग यू सी दैट ओनली वेर इज द कलर एंड आई टू वेर यू नो सैफ्रॉन कलर यू नो ठैक यू नो न्यन ब्लू सारीज एंड फॉर देम इट वुड बी आई हैव ब्यूटिफुल पिक्चर्स यू नो वॉकिंग ऑन मैन हैट एंड रोड एंड सडनली टर्निंग वे हैंड माई फ्रेंड टू का फोटोग्राफ आई मीन अ ब्लू न्यन सारी कोलकाता सारी विथ अ रेड वॉट वी से shawl and everybody is black and grey fine some people may feel it's good for them it's your own choices but see to it that what choices you make what thought process you take you never regret on it if you fail rethink that where mistakes you because if i think today i have done few mistakes in my life i won't be able to go back in my history in my past and change it but i can always see, see to it that my coming future is beautiful and for that at this second only i'll start making that future beautiful i'll work hard and you know the biggest thing what i would like to say see as a, a trans person where you know our identity was wiped out we were not even considered considered a human my my parents never disowned me but they accepted me my pa- my uh, extended family always thought i was a black stain in the family and today they are proud of me but you have to make lot of sacrifices there is no shortcut to success it's only hard work to success whichever speakers who were over here before me they all would have said success is not a red carpet what you get you have to really work upon very minimum in my community the biggest sorrow is the sorrow of being felt of unloved that nobody loves you that is the biggest sorrow but the biggest strength what my sisters have in this world is the strength not to surrender and i believe you have to create that strength within you not to surrender when you will learn not to surrender that is the time when your thought process when nobody will even question you what you are saying before i leave the stage i think so i am over time also before i leave the stage i would only say love yourself believe in yourself love is unconditional and learn to respect every human being immaterial to their sexuality as humans and that is the success of life thank you jai shri mahakal